Hey everyone, welcome back to City Girl Living on a Budget. My name is Julia and today I want you guys to help me declutter my purse collection. So disclaimer, not all of these, some of these are as old as like a decade. Some of them are pretty old. Um, no reason, I don't know why I kept them, I just didn't get rid of them. Uh, if you're new to my channel, a few months ago, I think back in March, well, I moved in February, so then in March, when I was unpacking still, and then I think in April too, I did this whole, like, I went through my entire closet, and I really, like, like I really, I, I went through it, I organized it, I separated winter from summer clothing, um, I got a lot of, I got rid of a lot of stuff, and maybe like a month later after that, I did a video about how freeing it was for me. But at the time I did that, I was not ready to go through my purse collection or my shoes yet. And I'm not going to do my shoes today. And technically, I don't even know if I'm ready to go through my shoes. Um, but I am definitely ready to go through my purses. And these are just my purses. I have a whole nother little thing here with my wristlets and wallets. And also, I have to apologize for the mess. I have clothes drying. Plus, I never make my bed. I just don't. Even as a kid, my mom always had trouble getting me to make my bed. And now that I'm an adult, and that's a decision I can make for myself, no. So, I don't make my bed ever. Um, so, let's just get started. I don't know. So I'm going to make two piles. One that I will sell, and then another one that I'm going to keep. And I guess we'll just start here. So, this is, this is a Juicy Couture purse. I haven't used this. I've owned it for a couple of years and I've never used it. So I'm going to sell that. Um, this I'm also going to sell. It's a crossbody bag. It's I've never used it. I had a friend give it to me a, a, more than a couple of years ago. Probably been close to a decade. So I've never used it. So I'm going to sell that too. And this one I'm actually going to keep because this one I use. This is another crossbody bag. So I take this with me when I go hiking. I'm going to keep that. This I actually want to keep. I have a lot of crossbody bags because this is another one. But this one I actually like to so keep. This might keep item. And this one too. I use this crossbody bag a lot. This is my go to. So, like when I go to Canada uh, in a few weeks, I will most likely carry this one. I haven't decided which person I'm going to carry. But it will most likely be this one. This is the one I carried with me last September when I visited my friend in Austria. And my most recent use, I used it recently too. I can't remember for what though. I used it recently. Uh, this one I am going to get rid of. This one I've had for three years. It's real leather. There's a dust bag somewhere that I have. I have to find the dust bag for it. Um, but it does come with like a strap. So it can be crossbody or just a carry. Um, so yeah, this I'm going to toss as well. Well, I won't toss it. I'm going to sell it. This one I'm going to sell as well. Again, I've had this for a number of years. I've never used it. And actually it does come with this matching. I can't remember if I bought it separately or came with it. Either way, I am going to sell these as a matching set. Just because, I don't know, I think it makes sense to do. Um, this one, again, I've had it for years. I haven't used it in years. It is a little dirty, so I'm going to have to clean it or see if I can clean it. But if I can, I will definitely sell that. I just realized all of the purses I want to keep are like over here. Anyway. Yeah, this one I'm going to sell too. This is a coach bag that I've had for, again, a decade at least. It definitely needs to be clean, but I haven't used it in years. My mom was using it for a while, um, but I'm going to sell that too. This one I'm going to keep. This one, um, I actually use this one for when I go out. So this one I'm going to keep. Yeah, this is another one I'm going to keep. This one, I'm going to sell this. So this kind of goes back to my sentence. I did this whole video where I took... I decided to sell three jewelry boxes that my great aunt gave me. I'm very sentimental about things and it's hard for me to let go of material objects that I've got like that sentimental value to, right? My aunt gave me those three jewelry boxes. This I got from a friend who went to Bangladesh. Um, he brought this back for me. 
So I haven't used it. Again, I've had it for a number of years. I've never used it. I'm going to go ahead and sell it because I have to start parting with stuff. Like I just, I have to. So I'm going to sell that. Um, this I'm not going to sell because this I could still get use out of. And I really like it. I love like the quilted look. I'm really bad about that. Um, yeah, this I'm not, this I actually use as well. Yeah, this one I use. I'm going to keep that. Um, so you'll notice I've got three bags with this like navy blue and brown combo. This is the first one I bought. And this is the one I'm actually going to get rid of. Because I, I used it when I first bought it a few years ago and I haven't used it since. These two I actually use. This one I used for quite a while, actually. So I'm going to keep this one. And this is the one I'm currently using, actually. My first, yeah, this is like my actual. So I will definitely be keeping this one. Let's see what else over here. I think the rest of these, I'm, yeah, I think the rest of these I'm going to keep. This one I'm going to keep. This one is actually a resale fail. So you're not sure what that is. I bought it with the intention of selling it on Poshmark and then I kept it. So yeah, I um, have more resale fails than I would like to admit. Clothing wise, purse wise, well, not really purses actually. I think that's, the only, I think that's my only one. Um, but definitely clothing and shoe wise. And I'm gonna keep this one too. Again, it's, I have a thing for crossbody bags. I have no idea why. And this is another crossbody bag I'm gonna keep. This one I love like rose gold. So this has got rose gold accents. I just love rose gold. So I'm gonna keep that one too. Um, and I think I'm gonna keep the rest of these. Yeah, I'm gonna keep, this is, I bought this at a, um, on the real real it's like a discount designer clothing website and this this particular one was like the display item so it's actually in perfect condition and this one i bought on poshmark but this one i actually use so i'm going to keep it this was actually a so this black one is actually a graduation present for my parents to me um when i graduated with my bachelor's degree so this one I have to keep. And this one I have to keep because I just can't sell it. I haven't used it in years, but it's so, I mean, it's really damaged. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? Yeah, it's really damaged. It's on the bottom too. Yeah, on the bottom as well. So this I have to get rid of. Or I can't sell it, but I can... I don't even know if I can donate this actually. Yeah, if I don't keep it, I'll probably have to throw it out because I don't know, or I'll see if I can like make something with the material or even do like a DIY craft, make something with the material that's not damaged. I don't know, I'll think that through. And this one I can't get rid of because I'm just not ready. This is one of those things I have, I really have no use for it, but I just, I can't get rid of it because I'm just not ready. So. This is all keep. I think this is actually pretty close. Yeah, I think this is pretty close. All right. I don't know. I didn't count, so I don't know like how many I've got keep and how many I've got to sell. But I think I think most of my big purses I'm keeping, so that's why this pile looks bigger than this one. Um. Anyway, let's go through my little wallets. Um. So these are gonna. I have a whole bunch of these little coach wallets. So I'm just going to sell that because I haven't used it in years. Again, I've had it for like a decade. This is actually a, this is actually an iPhone case. I don't have an iPhone, but it fits business cards perfectly. So I bought it as a business card holder. I don't know if it'll sell. I'm going to try to sell it. I mean, if I can't find this, I'm going to sell to this. I've had for a while, like more than more than a day, uh, more than a decade, excuse me. And again, it's like a coin purse, or I think business cards will fit in there too. But that will go. This I'm going to sell as well. I don't even know why I bought this. See, this is part of my problem. I, although I've gotten much better at it, 
Um, retail therapy used to be like a big deal for me. So, and even to cure boredom, I'd go to the mall and just walk around, walk out with stuff that I wasn't planning on buying. Anyway, this I have to keep. There's, this is way too damaged. You can see the damage on here. This, it says vacation fund on it. This was the coin purse I used at my last apartment. It would hold the quarters that I would take to the laundromat with me when I went. So, yeah, I definitely have to keep this. Uh, let's just start back here. Actually, let's start with these two. I'll just go through this one quick, more quickly because I'm going to sell both of these. This one, again, I've had it for ever. It's like navy blue. And I mean, it's in, it's in really good condition still. So this I'm going to sell. This I'm also going to sell. I did a Secret Santa last Christmas on um, the 2017. So, I mean, it was cute when I got it. And I still think it's cute, but I haven't used it in the six, seven months it's been since Christmas. So let me get rid of that too. Um, oh, these two. These two, actually this, so again, Christmas, Victoria's Secret always has these like deals where if you buy so much, you get a free bag, like a weekend bag. And they usually come with like a little pouch to get like a little wristlet or something. So I haven't used it. I have the bag somewhere in storage. I'm going to get the bag out, go on Poshmark. And I know they're for sale on Poshmark, I've seen them but I just didn't pay attention because at the time I wasn't looking to sell them. So again, I can sell them as a matching set. I need to check prices and if, if they've actually sold, because just because it's listed doesn't mean it's actually going to sell. So I need to um, check if I'm comps comparisons, right? I have to compare um, other prices that these have sold for plus what they're listed. So I know if I decide to list it, like I know the range I should start in. Um, and same for this one too. I don't, I've had it for years. I bought it back when I first started college, I've had it for years, used it when I first bought it. There's no name brand. Like this is not, there's no, I mean, if I did sell it, I probably wouldn't get a lot of money for it because again, there's no, it's not designer. It's not a name brand. I bought, I actually bought it secondhand. So I don't know where it came from anyway. Um, so if I do decide to sell this again, it's one of those things I'd have to go on Poshmark research prices, and I probably wouldn't get much for it. So again, I am going to, I'm going to start a maybe pile. So Victoria's secret and this thing will be maybe I have to research prices yet. Um, this is the little wristlet that goes with this purse that I'm not ready to get rid of. Um, same with this one. I'm not ready to get rid of it yet. This was another one of my impulse browsing Amazon. It's cute purchases and I'm not ready to get rid of it. So it's going to stay. Uh, this thing I actually got as a present from my mom. So I, I will be keeping this. Oh, here's another resale fail. This is another resale fail actually. Yeah, this place sports sack. It's another resale fail. Um, bought it a while ago. I haven't used it. So, but I'm still going to hold on to it again. I'm not ready to get rid of it. So I will just hold on to it until I am. And actually, let me cover this one too. Um, this one I am going to keep because my mom and I back when I was in college, I was still going to church and the church my mom and I went to at the time had a like raffle fundraiser. So my mom, um, won this purse and then she gave it to me because she wouldn't use it so i have to keep this too simply because it came from her uh this thing i'm gonna keep because again it's well i mean it's been used it's kind of held up pretty well actually i'm surprised there's not much more damage to it but again i don't know if it would sell i'm gonna have to like review the comps on that these two, well, this is a wallet. So this is a full-on wallet. This I'm going to sell. This is in good condition. I don't know if I've ever used it. I can't even remember, remember where I bought it. So this I will sell. This I'm actually going to give to a friend. So this is a fair trade wallet I bought while in college. 
Um, well, I guess it's a coin purse technically, but I will actually give this to a friend. I'm not going to sell this. All right, so I've got four piles going. Oh, here's another resale fail. Yeah, this is another resale fail. Bought it, decided to keep it, not ready to sell it. So let's go here. Um, this can actually go in the garbage. This I got, it's a little coin purse. I think I got it back in, somebody knows my German class in college. Um, I can actually toss that. So I guess I've got five piles, although I think that's going to be the only one in my toss. This was a gift from my friend in Austria. It's a little coin purse. I don't know. But because it was a gift, got sentimental value, I'm going to keep it. And even if I did try to sell it, again, there's no brand name. I don't think I'd get much money for it if it ever actually did sell. Like, that would be something that would sit for a long time. This is a little coin purse that I got in Austria when I was visiting my friend. This is something I did buy, but again, I, I'm not going to sell it because I really like this. And there's still a little sentimental value because I did buy it when I was in Austria with my friend. Yeah, and this one, this is my only neutral clutch, I think, actually. Yeah, this is the clutch I use the most because it's neutral. All right, we're already at like 16 minutes. I'm going to try to speed up. Yeah, I've used all of these, both of these, this wallet and this little bag I've used multiple times. Um, this is another little coach wallet that I'm, this one I'm not ready to get rid of just yet. Ironically, I thought I would, but I'm going to keep it. This has sentimental value to me. I bought it when I was in Austria last year visiting my friend, so I have to keep that. Um, and these wallets, I'm not ready to get rid of yet. So, I mean, it's just a simple wallet with card holders inside in a mirror. So I'm not ready to get rid of it yet. And same with this. This is kind of like, this is the wallet I take with me when I don't want to carry a purse. So this, I can just put my debit card, my driver's license, and slip it in my back pocket. This coach, yeah, this is another coach um, wristlet that I'm actually going to, again, had it for, this I probably had for over a decade. This I will get rid of. I haven't used it, I don't know how long. This, again, I've had this since I was a teenager. This I actually do use sometimes, so I'm going to keep it. But it's just very simple. I mean, you put your, my debit card and my driver's license in there, and I'm good. And these last two I'm going to keep. This is the coin purse that goes to this purse right here. The I Need a Vacation purse. I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to keep this Kate Spade purse as well. This little coin purse. I used it for a while and then I stopped. And I'm using my current one. Actually, let me show you the current one that I'm using. The current one I'm using is actually pretty small. The current one I'm using is just this. It's, an, it's big enough for my cards. Plus... I could, if I ever wanted to, attach my keys to it and just carry this with my phone. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you're new to my channel, please check out the description box. There is a channel trailer and all of the links to my social media as well, including my blog. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.